Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I'm Charlene. So today I want to talk about uh, the energy since my last energy forecast, which was on the Scorpio new moon. And I want to just do a follow up on that energy and then I will uh, drop an energy forecast for December in about two weeks from now. But the energy that I want to talk about is for now and maybe for the past few days as well as for the next two weeks or so. Uh, so a lot of people might have felt a kind of closing off or a pressure um, just before the Scorpio new moon. You might have felt as if you were in a pressure cooker and you might have felt as if a lot was bearing down on you. Emotions may have been heightened during this time and a lot of people would have come to a certain ending in their lives. So this doesn't apply to everyone, of course. Um, just take what resonates with you. But for those people who felt a pressure or a bearing down just before the Scorpio new moon, you would have felt that this energy shifted almost instantly after the Scorpio new moon, or it could have shifted in the next uh, within the next 24 to 36 hours. So by now, this energy is definitely past us, and we are in a new frame of energy. We have an opening up. We have uh, that was an energy of contraction. And this is an energy of expansion. This was also during the time that um, the uh, that Jupiter moved into Sagittarius. And uh, I've, I've mentioned before, I'm not an astrologer, but I assume that that might have something to do with why uh, we have this feeling of expansion, because then Jupiter has just moved into um, Sagittarius, and that brings about a, a period of expansion, from what I understand. So... The uh, the feeling that we are we have now is of new beginnings, of um, a a chance, a rebirth. Um, many of you would be feeling as if you are birthing new new in love, in self love, as if you've come to new realizations, as if you've had a cloud or a sense of fog over you, and now you've just been relieved from that, and you can see clearly, not as clearly but you can see clearly, more clearly than you've seen before. And this um, clarity will become more stark in the next few weeks. And the other feeling or the other sensation that you might experience is that you will grow stronger in the next few weeks. You will become more motivated. You will become more focused in the next few weeks. And you will become more driven. So driven towards uh, your goals. You know, because sometimes you can may have a sense of motivation or you may have these goals and this focus, but you aren't able to drive it to that point. But you will find in the next two weeks that you will have this other energy that will drive you to be able to um, pursue your goals. You may also begin redefining relationships with higher ups, with authority figures, with bosses, with people that you share homes with or households with. Um, you may find that you seek to redefine these relationships largely because of what you've learned already in the last few weeks of this energy. You may also find that um, you are less uh, interested in reinventing yourself at this moment, but rather more interested in picking up old goals, old dreams, and, and pursuing them and seeing how you can bring them to fruition, how you can fulfill them. Uh, the other energy that you will be experiencing in the next few weeks um, will be a calmness. So you might have come through a period of irritation um, and just impatience with those around you, and you will come into a space now where you'll be more, you'll be calmer. Little things won't irritate you as much as as in the last few weeks. And the other thing that you will experience is um, you'll you'll need to be calmer because you may experience a sense of um, having to resolve many issues. So you may find a lot of administrative things that you need to um, resolve or a lot of bureaucratic issues that you need to work through or um, a lot of meetings um, in uh, with bureaucracy. Uh, you may also find that uh, it's a little bit of a struggle to get things done or it's a little bit of a struggle to actually move things along. So you might have this drive, but you might need that um, you might feel that you need uh, double the amount of energy to be able to push forward. It would be like 
it's as if you're walking along the ground and you couldn't see anything and it was just fog but now the fog's cleared up and you begin climbing and uh, as you're climbing you realize that you're climbing up a really steep um, mountain and you need uh, a lot more stamina and a lot more strength and yes you do have the strength but you just feel it you know you feel the, um, the tension on your muscles so to say uh, and this is something that is going to be um, quite prevalent as an overriding energy for a lot of us in the next few weeks so uh, the energy shifts again around December and at the beginning of December and becomes a bit lighter and a bit easier to contend with but I'll speak about that in the next energy forecast which I will do uh, closer to the time so um, this is just a short note for today and uh, I want to thank you all for subscribing and thank you for passing by and uh, much love and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.